Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sons of the Forest. It's finally here. It's out. It is released. <laughs> Somebody's crying. Somebody's crying over there. Hey! Oh, you do not look well. <laughs> you do not look well. Hey, buddy. How's, how's it going? Oh. Hey! Ke Kelvin! Kelvin! Wakey wakey, sunshine. Oh, you have got a serious concussion. Yep. Yep. It's an amazing he's even stood up. <laughs> Fairness. Oh! <laughs> We've got our own, very own tame zombie! Look! We can give him some orders. That's fantastic. I mean, that is just... I mean, he looks pretty chill about it right now. <laughs> he's, he's lost hearing. He's, um... He's looking a bit dazed. But he seems very chill about it. Okay. Might need to adjust some graphics settings here. Uh, definitely some controls and whatnot to make it a little bit smoother, I think. There you go. I think we'll be okay now. Alright, there we go. Welcome back. Anyway. Um... Where the smack are we? Okay. Well... Standard rules apply. Don't eat the rotten fish. Smack open uh, luggage carriers. We'll go back to the forest. I think we'll find a lot of it very similar to uh, the game we are already familiar with. In terms of the controls, the styling and things like that. Giant spider! Get it! Get it! Get it with fire! Murder it! Okay, this isn't grounded. Let's move on. Uh, right. <laughs> Lots of stuff to loot around here. This is... The thing is, what I'm confused about this game, and there's probably an answer for that uh, online, I haven't actually found it yet. Is this the same forest as before? Because it looks fatter. <laughs> it looks much fatter, and the map is much bigger than uh, than previously, so who knows. Well, I have my rock. I have my rock, and I have... I want to pick that shell up. Yeah, can't do that. I feel like I'm playing Rust right now with this rock in my hand. Honestly. Uh, right. Let's have a look at my inventory. Oh, this is this is very much neat and tidy. Add items and combine. Yeah, okay, cool. What is that? Light. Light color. Power on. Woohoo! Look at that. It's got RGB lighting in my backpack. <laughs> that is unnecessarily cool. Right, what is this? Emergency pack. Open. There we go. Oh. Uh, GPS, is that? GPS tracker. Equip. Can I unequip my rock, please? It's... Oh, look at that. It's a proper little mini-map, isn't it? Fancy! Well, fancy poncy. Okay. Well, this is the GPS tracker. We've got uh, a lighter. Which is e excellent. It's like a plasma lighter. Look at that thing. No, no, no. The, the, the L. Okay. And we've got a, an axe, which is a much more useful thing to have in my hand than... Uh... But, yeah, there we go. Brilliant. The helicopter downed over there. Somehow, some man in a weird white suit decided not to kill us when he had us at gunpoint. Lord knows why, considering he was probably the one that shot down our helicopter. I'm guessing. Anyway, standard survival rules apply, ladies and gentlemen. We need fresh running water. We need food, shelter, and warmth. And, uh... And then we'll be good. Now, some of our comrades here from the helicopter seem to have been put on a spike and put... Is that their decomposing skull or have they had a skull put on them? Because either way, that's disturbing. Okay, I think we can get rid of this. The seagulls are uh, already feasting on uh, on these guys. Which is not great. Not great. Sorry, fella. Go away! Okay. I think it's best if we just move on. Calvin! Come on! Yeah, I know you can't hear me. There's no point shouting at him, is there? <laughs> he can't bloody hear you. Uh, right. Into the forest we go then, guys. You know what? Every time I've played the forest, I've always had company. And I've always had uh, somebody with me. And it's always been multiplayer. So this is the first time uh, for me doing a solo forest playthrough. Although, you know, 
tons of. Um, so, <laughs> but we're pretty much expecting the forest just with more. Just dial it up to 11. There's instantly a cave in front of me, and um, I don't want to. <laughs> this is how it's going to go. This is how it's going to go. I, uh, hmm, caves. I must explore them. Hmm, also caves. How about no? Yeah, okay. Already, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. See, this is... I feel like this is unnecessary at this point. Okay, so it's on the map. We're going to have to come back to this cave. But going into a cave equipped how I am seems rather stupid. Hey, Kelvin's just wandering off, doing his own thing. He's probably going, um, we, we should probably go and um, do the whole shelter and water thing that you just spoke about. Except he didn't hear it because he's deaf. Got everything. Kill it all. Murder. Okay. Uh, GPS. This thing is freaking handy. It even shows Kelvin's location. Now, up ahead, it appears that there's some kind of river or... Um, although it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Maybe it goes underground. Some kind of water source anyway. Um, but this is a... A beautiful looking forest. Would you expect anything less than a beautiful looking forest? This is beautiful. We need to find water. We need to find... Um, I hear footsteps. Is this a fucking path I'm on? There are paths. There are actually paths. I found some berries. These berries, I know, are edible because they're blueberries. So let's pick some blueberries because that means that we've already got a source of some water and some food. These guys are probably poisonous. It's a squirrel! Squirrel! Dick. Squirrel! Okay. We're not really any mood, uh, any position to go hunting just yet, but I'm going to head towards this water source up ahead. And we're going to see what we're dealing with here. We do need fresh water. I have a beacon. I have several beacons pinging away on my little GPS map thing. I'm hoping the battery on this thing is just infinite, by the way, because um, <laughs> it's probably not in reality. Here we go. Fresh one running water achieved. Okay, but there are there are um, effigies here of someone's leg and someone's torso. Lovely, that's beautiful, fantastic. Feel very welcome. Uh, right, I should probably heal myself. I don't know what I've got here that can heal me. Are these painkillers? Meds. Eat the meds, man. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay. There we go, I am healing now. So these are blueberries. These are blueberry seeds. These are salmon berries. Right. Oh boy. We have company already. We have only just started. And uh, we already have some... Smeg face coming up here and giving us what for. Alright, Calvin. Calvin can't hear the bastard, so... Like... We're going to go upstream a little bit, away from those effigies. We're just going to run away from those effigies, okay? Let's go. We don't want to be anywhere near those, really, because that's... That's what's attracting unwanted attention. Hopefully he'll leave us alone. Now, I know that the AI on this is pretty damn good. Is that a bucket of brains? What is that? Oh, God. <laughs> it just leapt out of the water. It's now rolling around over there. Okay, moving on. <laughs> hmm. It seems good. There's lots of paths around here. All right. So, we need shelter. We have food sort of in berry form. There are squirrels and wildlife around here, and we have fresh running water. This seems to be the logical place that I suspect the game is expecting us to set up camp at. Well, who am I to argue with that, right? Uh, right there on top of that rock looks really good. Let's go. Okay. There's a squirrel. Yeah, this looks all right. 
Oh. Oh. That guy looks big and angry. Hi. <laughs> oh. I'm hearing lots of weird noises right now. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that as well, but... Before we, um, set a campfire down here. Oh, shit. Brilliant. Let's not set camp here, then. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense that the freaking only water source around here has a, a freaking camp right next to it of natives. So, moving on. Moving on, Calvin. Let's go this way, as in the opposite direction, yeah? Let's just go. Oh, hello, sunflowers. All right, we can pick up stuff along the way, though, but we need to make some headway on making a camp. I'm thinking there's, there's a like, a pond or a couple of... See? They're either going for the ponds over there, which are not running water, so not a great idea, or further up the main river, the estuary. Ooh, God. Hey, little mud man. Hi. Sorry to ruin your little squirrel trap, was that? Jesus, they are really jumpy around here. Okay, we got to move quickly. As, uh, if we've already got the attention of the natives, I think I'm full, uh, then it ain't going to be long before we piss them off somehow and they're going to attack us. So let's go, 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 go. I think, to be honest, we're going to head up the river. Maybe find a spot nearby, but not necessarily on the edge of that river. Because that one, that one's just... Covered in bad guys. Come on, Calvin. We scouted one location. It's a no-go. Let's find another one. God, it is a beautiful looking game, though. Oh, my lord, is it gorgeous. I'm not seeing any effigies around. There's a path over there. And we're right on top of the water here. Given the rocky nature of our surroundings... Hopefully, a reasonably defensible position. What do you think, Calvin? Set up camp here? Alright. Glad you agree there, buddy. Okay. Stick that away. Now we go into the building thing. Improvised survival structure handbook. Lovely. Ent. Uh, great. Firewood and basic fire. Okay. Reinforced fire. Um, what? How do we... How do we actually build? <laughs> Switch mode. Oh, okay. So. There's two modes. The old style mode, by the look of it which allows you to select and place things on the ground and then add resources to it. And then the new style mode, which I think is some kind of like gather sticks, light, snap them up, break them up, place them down, and then set fire to them. Or reinforced fire, which is probably what we want, which is sticks, wood. Place the sticks, add the log, the stones around it, and then light it. All right. Let me see if I can figure this out a second. So, I've got a number of sticks. Boom. Okay, you have to be looking down. Oh, this is cool, actually. <laughs> That's quite good, actually. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to light it just yet. I want to place some stones around it. Um. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe. Yeah, I got it. Maybe I got it. So, place some stones. Oh my god. I mean, it takes forever. If you're after a quick game, it might be quicker doing it the old way, but... Um, certainly from an immersion point of view. That is one way to do it. Okay, I need my, need my stones back. I wish there was a slightly quicker way to... Um, now we... 
We we have a fire, people. Kelvin! They made fire! Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting though? And what does that do? Um leaf. Fuel the fire! <laughs> Alright. Oh nice. Nice of you to just chill out and relax, I guess. Alright, cool. Okay, so let's have a look at a few other recipes then. Because we've got basic tent. Tarp. Stick, stick. Yep. Campfire. We've done. Stick structures. <laughs> okay. And then floor. Walls. Doors. Wow. This is... Um, it's quite in depth. <laughs> the kind of methodology that they've gone to in order to create this is quite in depth, I gotta say. Um, let's at least see if we can get a basic tent up, okay? So we need tarp plus sticks. We place the tarp and then we place the sticks on the tarp, okay? So, first of all, tarp. There's this guy over here. So, let's see if we can place that down like there, alright? We have a tarp. Now, um, we place a stick in the top corner number one, and we place another stick in top corner number two, and uh, there we go. We have. Um, I don't want to put that up as well. I want to. I want to weigh it down, really, but it doesn't seem like that's an option. There we go. We have a basic. We can sleep and save. Dave, that's a. That's a. Rick. Okay, save! Yay! <laughs> I feel like I'm learning it from scratch. It's, it's pretty much the same game we all used to, but I'm learning it from scratch. Okay. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do just real quickly is switch to modes because I want the storage things. And um, here we go. So stick storage and rock storage. And if we put them down. I don't know how that's stick storage. What the hell? I guess they lean lean up against it, maybe? Okay, anyway, we're going to get Calvin to collect some sticks, all right? Bingo. Yeah, see, that's the sound we're all used to, isn't it? <laughs> and rock storage next to it. We're gonna get... All right. Here we go. Okay. Now then. Calvin. Yep, Calvin. Calvin. I've got this freaking rock in my hand, I don't know. i got a knife as well, by the way, Calvin. Okay, I'm going to tell him to do some stuffing. Okay, here we go. Uh, get. Here we go. Get. Sticks and fill holder. Go, Calvin, go! He's like, uh, I go. Yeah, I go get sticks. Calvin, get sticks. Go on, then. Oh, well done. <laughs> He's well excited. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh, brilliant. The other thing I want to do is try and get a marker here. I see like a marker or something um, that we can use. Stick path, rock stat path. That's cool. Um, storage. Log storage, bone storage. Yeah, no, it's not anything like that. It's uh, not traps. Jesus Christ, what is it? Trees! Tree houses. Nice. Bone chairs, bone chandeliers, wall torches, ceiling torches. These are all the things that we used to, I think. Okay. Okay, well, uh, probably best if we get a fish trap. We are right next to the water. So we're going to need some food soon. Being right next to the water and all, we, um, you know, have water pretty much sorted. And there are blueberries and stuff here. So a fish trap, though, probably a good idea. Let's see if we can set one up. I don't even know if there are fish in this river, of course, but... Oops. Only 24 sticks, but fortunately, Galvin here is doing a wonderful job of gathering sticks. Absolutely wonderful. And in terms of markers and stuff, don't need one. There's one on the minimap. So... Give me your sticks. Thank you, Calvin. More sticks, though, yeah? <laughs> We're going to absolutely abuse Kelvin, I tell you. It's not going to be great. Nine sticks remain. Okay, well, I have an axe. So let's chop and 
chop in some sticking. Oh, can't carry any more blueberries. Then eat them, man. Eat them. No. Oh. Eat. Eat. He like flips them in his mouth. Quite funny. Eat. Alright. What has happened to my axe? I really wish I could assign my axe to like one or something, you know? That would be cool. I probably can. Really losing light fast now. Bingo. We have a fish trap. Uh, hello. What the? Hi. It's okay. Weird three-legged lady thing. Um. Hey. Okay. You're just gonna eat 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 some berries. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Calvin. You're freaking blind. She's got three legs and three arms. This seems fine. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Nice legs. <laughs> okay. Bye then. And off she goes into the night. Holy crap, that's dark. Holy moly, that's dark. Yeah, okay. That's great. Where's Kelvin? Kelvin! Dude! <laughs> Shit, where has he gone? <laughs> I mean, he'll be around here somewhere, right? 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 It'll just appear. It'll scare the crap out of me. You wait. Um, I miss my old torch. <laughs> I miss my old torch. Oh my lord. This is... Um... Oh, black breeze. Lovely. This is dark, dudes. This is... This is dark. I know, I know it's obvious, just saying it. Doesn't make it any less dark. But it's freaking dark. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna snooze. I'm gonna wake up really thirsty. But I am a day one survivor. My food is absolutely effed. As is my thirst. Well, thirst we're about to go and conquer. That's fine. And uh, food, obviously. Surviving on berries here. Not ideal, but it will satiate a little bit, I suppose. Not even making a bloody dent, is it? Um, do I tell him to go to sleep? Kelvin, hi. Uh, take item, clear, take a break. Take a break, Kelvin. You've been working through the night. No, Kelvin, break time. <laughs> he is. Poor bastard. Have we got any fish in here? No. Crap. Have a drink. All right, I'm not losing health from doing this, so I'm taking that as a win. Okay, so no fish in the fish trap. That's not great. I gotta be honest, that is not good. Um, I'm gonna eat the blueberries from my pack so I can just easily pick them. I got 20 blueberries. I'm gonna just like shift, just eat them all. Who eats one blueberry at a time? What kind of crazy person are you? <laughs> This may take a while. He's not actually doing anything uh, to my hunger. Blackberries. If it is, it's so marginal. Okay. I have to eat my emery pack then. Sloppy Joes. That fills me halfway. Great. Stun gun ammo, slug ammo, 9 m mil. Um, and that's it. Uh, what is that big red thing, actually? What are you? You're empty. Oh, you got two grenades. <laughs> uh, add items to a backpack. Damn. All right. Okay. At least now I can collect some more blueberries, I guess. But, um, yeah, we're going to need something that's going to fill us up a little bit more reliably. Now, in the original forest, of course, that was... Lizards, deer things, such stuff like that. Um, 
Or maybe we can make a bow. And we can go hunting, right? So I told Calvin to take a break. I'm going to go out and see what I can find up around here. I really needed some wildlife, you know? Something I can chase down and murder. This is the deepest, darkest part of the forest. A bird! Get it! <laughs> I actually got it as well. You can't believe it. Wait. Uh, is it just the feathers I get there? Well, I mean, they're useful. Because they let me make arrows, right? But the little bird carcass on the floor doesn't actually count as something I can cook and eat. Brutal! The savagery of it. You used to be able to do that. You used to get like a small meat, a bit of meat out of a bird. So I feel a little short and changed. Aha! I did get it. I'm now covered in blood, though. Yes! <laughs> Meat's back on the menu, boys. Work! Feathers are, like, super rare and difficult to get, so I'm like, every bird must die. Okay. Wow, looks like I found something up ahead, actually. Middle of nowhere, who would have thought? Something of interest. Uh oh Well, this clearly doesn't end well for the... Oh, my God. There's nothing left. Literally some rib cages. There is some gnarly ass noises coming from over there. Oh, yeah. Probably because I turned the music off. They were all like, what? We were listening to that. Okay, I'll turn it. Oh, Kelvin, what are you doing here? Jesus Christ, dude. I'm scared the living for Jesus out of me. Come on, then. If you're following me, then follow me. That's a freaking elk. What size is that thing? That was making the gnarly noises. I didn't think so. Hang on, then. I am knife ready. Are we going to sneak up on this thing and murder it? Whatever is breathing over there does not sound well. Decent. Oh, yeah, some big dude. Big dude. He might not. He might not take kindly to me murdering a moose. I don't know. The moose is sus, anyway. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Kelvin, let's go. Let, let's go. Come on. Can't hear me. I, I, I'm doing this thing where I'm shouting at him and he can't hear me. You. Follow me. <laughs> Look at his grin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kelvin's brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant. Hey, there's another moose. Can we kill it? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. This will be fine. Oh, he's a fast boy. Look how fast he goes. I don't think I'm going to catch him. Oh, hello, mushrooms. Take those, though. Sure, they could be useful for something. Yeah, there's no catching that guy. He is out of here. I suppose, you know, a knife-wielding maniac runs up to you. You're going to run away as fast as you can, isn't it? Just, um... That's realistic. Good job, devs. So I have two bits of squirrel meat on me. A... If I could get some way of killing these moose, elks, whatever they are, then I will have plenty of ugh, giant spider um, food, I guess. But I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some kind of ranged artillery for that. Okay, so I got these blips on the map, and I'll check these out in a bit. But let's see if we can get a little bit more of our camp set up. Hopefully, we can set up a trap up here or something that we can catch squirrels in. Oh, shit. They found me. They've come to my camp now. They're probably not very happy to see me. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, right, cook the meat. Cook the meat. 
Stoke the fire, stoke the fire. Does Calvin need to eat? I assume so. But yeah, back off, back off, yeah. I know, I see them. Yeah. He's pointing at them like, oh, look, are you sure something? He's well basic. <laughs> He's well basic. How long does it take to cook this meat? Oh, I don't like... Mm, I don't like them being around here. Right, there we go. I know, buddy, I know, I know. They, they're not attacking us right now. So... Get, sticks, build, stay, take a break, clear, take home, follow me, get. Get, uh, fish, berries, rocks, logs. I mean, fish should be good. I don't know where he's going to get fish from, but... Okay. Just casually walks off. Bye. And that's how Calvin is not getting fish right now. <laughs> there are no fish to get. Okay. Let's try something else. Take, take item. Um, I was going to give him the food, but clearly I don't need to. All right. Oh, he's off. Maybe we got a fish. <gasps> Maybe we got a fish. Oh, boy. Yep. That's not good. I need a spear, is what I need. Okay. Hopefully Calvin will be back with fish. In the meantime, let's see if we can get a spear. Um, I don't want to place it. I want to. I want to craft it into something, so... Let's see. Spears, historically, have been great. And it's just, essentially, you need to just kind of, like, fry things until... Oh. <laughs> yes! I have a spear! You stay away! Yeah! Where the hell is Calvin? Did he drop a fish off? Nope. He's just down here by the river. See what he's doing. I can't actually see him. <laughs> is he down there? Now that? Are you... Oh, there he is. <laughs> Look at him. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> He's got a fish! He actually got a fish! He's more effective than my trap! What? Oh, wait. Is there something in my trap? No. No. My trap is rubbish. Calvin's off, though. Bye, Calvin! Can I have, can I have that fish? Buddy. 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 What? That's, that's where he has to go in order to get around. I think he's bringing my fish. I think he's bringing my fish. Here he is. He brought a fish. Look at this absolute champion. What a beast. <laughs> I want to cook my fish. Fish goes there. Oh. I'm keeping him. <laughs> and bingo. We have a cooked fish. So that means we have cooked fish and cooked meat on us. Plus an energy mix I made from local herbs and stuff. These guys here. Let's see energy mix great like a natural red bull um to restore that we should probably take a little swim actually i've got to wash all my my hands off from the squirrel blood but that means that we're, we're good we have fresh water we have sort of shelter I, I guess it's possible we need to go for like a proper swim like in a big pool or something but yeah i need to wash there is a cleanliness factor of course let's go and wash in the actual waterfall Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm clean, I think. Difficult to tell. Okay. Well, 
Ladies and gentlemen, day one, survival is complete. We have water, we have food, we have warmth, and we have somewhat of a shelter. Uh, a bit of tarp and some sticks. It works as a save point, and we can skip the nights. However, we have an ever-growing concern with local natives turning up and not doing anything aggressive, mind. They're just curious about us at this point. How long will that last, though? Oh, well, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Tons of the forest is here. I've already just started. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.